So I asked Brian and Wanda to each tell me five things that they love about the other. Neither knows what the other has written. So I would like to read those to you now. Wanda said, one, his cute little button nose. Two, he might kill me for this one, but his cute butt. Three, his shy but shocking sense of humor. Four, the way that we threaten each other's lives and general safety. And five, mostly, he is my constant. And Brian said, Wanda hides candy and snacks for me because I lack self-control sometimes. Two, is okay with my buyer's remorse. I have this quirk where I enjoy returning things back to the store or having them shipped back. After unboxing the item, I often feel like I don't need it. I would rather have my money back. It feels like I'm getting paid. Three, she's a mumbling interpreter. I sometimes mumble, not pronouncing things, talking too fast or grunting. She somehow always understands me and can also interpret my mumbling for other people. Four, she lets me talk dirty to her. Even though she often doesn't understand what I'm talking about, it can also put her to sleep within one minute of bedtime because I'm a quiet person. Five, she's patient and willing to adapt with me. She stuck me with being a vegetarian for over a year even though she's a serious carnivore who loves her state. <laughs> Wanda and Brian's relationship blossomed very quickly. And even now, years later, she's always late for everything that we have planned because Brian is often trying to spend one more minute with her. There's a quote from Dr. Seuss that I find so fitting for their relationship, and it goes as follows. We're all a little weird. Life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up in a mutual weirdness and call it love. For the past 20 years or so since, I honestly felt there was nobody who understood him quite like I did. That is, until Miss Hutchinson came along. When Brian first introduced me to Wanda, I could already tell she was smart, funny, and charming all her own. But what really surprised me was how seamlessly and almost naturally these two played off each other. When we all hung out together, I saw them act, casually act on each other's ideas, their hobbies, tastes, humor, like they'd known each other as long as I knew him. I couldn't help but think such a natural sync between two people in just a few short years. Over time, I went from being surprised to being genuinely happy to have been together in such a short amount of time and truly happy to see they could form such a bond and make it look so easy. That happiness and content I felt assured me that these two couldn't find a better person for each other, even if it took another 20 years. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glass for a toast. With rejoicing, we say congratulations to the bride and groom, and may happiness find you everlasting. No returns or exchanges, Brian. Cheers. I, Brian, give to you, Wanda, this ring. I, Wanda, give to you, Brian, this ring. As a sign of my vow. To love, honor, and respect you. Wanda and Brian, as you have consented together this day to enter into the holy bonds of marriage, and having pledged and sealed your vows by the giving and receiving of rings, by the power vested in me, it is my joy and personal privilege to pronounce you married. You may now kiss.
It's gotta be you.